right in this video this is going to be a google rss alternative to ones that we had in the past you know google does not have an rss feed like it used to in google news but we can use what's called google alerts and we can generate rss feeds from our particular topics what i have over here on my custom live wallpaper i have beat saber ps5 and covid19 we can round robin this and i'm not going to dive real deep into the nuts and bolts of this tutorial it's some of the same stuff I have used for years and years, and I have plenty of tutorials on those topics. This is just a list global going through the topics, and we can round robin this. The title up here, if one of these links do not open up to the particular topic you're looking at, then you can tap the title, and that will force an RSS XML update inside of custom. For example, if I come down here, over 900 Mayo staff contract COVID-19 in the last two-week period, tapping anywhere on this text here and check it out it opens straight up to that topic this can be a website it may be a reddit post and that depends on what's getting pulled in that rss so those three topics i've showed you are actually over here and again if you go to google.com alerts let's create a new alert now this is going to be blasphemy for you android users just like me but i do use apple products as well when I'm teaching college level math classes, when I'm doing these tutorial videos, I am using a MacBook Pro. So maybe I wanna be in the loop with Apple. And before we create alert, let's go to show options. Now feel free to adjust these settings, but the main one you want to switch here is deliver to and set this to RSS feed. Now create your alert. We have our new alert and tapping on this RSS icon, boom, there's your XML. And if you've been doing anything with RSS feeds and XML inside of custom, this looks very familiar. One caveat to this, there are no thumbnails for these RSS feeds, unfortunately. But with that said, let me show you how we can add this RSS feed. I do have a Google RSS alternative. You can find this component in my free components folder. If we dive into that, head on over to globals. Right now, there are three text globals as well as a list global. This list global is what's going to toggle our topics like we see here. And again, I did mention that we can round robin these things as well. And these three list globals are the URLs. Now you can add an additional global or theoretically as many as you want. Let's add a text global. And for this title, this is my fourth topic. So I'm going to put a four. And for the description, this is optional, but I'm going to put Apple. Let's go to that fourth text global we have here. And for this global, let's copy and paste the URL from this RSS feed. Checking on that. And one more thing we want to do. In this list global go, change this to match the number of feeds. Since I've added a fourth one, I want to come and edit this list global. And I have one comma two comma three. Let's put a comma four. Let's press OK. And now we are almost good to go. I just need to come back in here and set up something by default for this list global. If I set it to one, that's my PS5, then we have COVID-19, then we have Beat Saber, and now look at this one. This is that fourth feed, the Apple feed. Notice it did load up some topics or some stories. However, it says fixed title. So one more thing you wanna fix whenever you add a topic is to go into the items. We have stack group, then we have this overlap group with the arrows in the title, that's what you see here. If I open that up and then I go to this title, as you can see there, we have a code applied. So GV Go, that list global. If it's equal to one, we wanna show PS5. If GV Go is equal to two, show COVID-19. And you guessed it, GV Go equals three, Beat Saber. And now we have another one. If GV Go is equal to four, this is where I have my Apple topic, but you can name this whatever you want. And then otherwise, I have fixed title. So this is to serve as a way to remind me if I add more topics in here, I can come back in here and add to my code. But since I have four topics, one, two, three, four, we will see the appropriate title across the top. Also, since I'm inside of this title for this particular feed, notice the touch for this title, custom action I did mention, force RSS XML update. And that's how you can add topics. So if you wanted to add a fifth one, add a text global five, change your list global, come back into the codes for this text, for this title and add it there. Now I mentioned it's not gonna be a full-fledged tutorial because I have done numerous tutorials on RSS feeds, XML, stuff like that. But just a quick preview, if I jump into one of these, this is the first story underneath the Apple thread. 
And in this stat group, we have the title, I guess you could say, of that particular story. Let's see how I'm grabbing that title. This text converter HTML, sometimes you will see some HTML that you want to get rid of either in the title of the topic or the description or what we call content. So notice we do have some HTML. That's what this TC HTML does. Now check this out. WG web git GV GV go. Well, GV go can be one, two, three, four, any of those numbers. So if I'm doing GV1, GV2, GV3, GV4, I'm actually getting the URL of the text global. So this part here will be a 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I'm doing GV1, GV2, etc. That's how we're doing a web get on the URL. Now one way you can do RSS feeds, some of them, is you can do comma RSS, comma, and I'm just using the module index of the parent's parent. Check out my module index videos. I go into that in detail, but I am listing the title from this entry right here. Notice it does say Apple announces App Store small business program. That's exactly what we see, but we don't see that HTML stuff because I've done the TC HTML. Now, if I want to get this content here, I'm not going to use the RSS in my code. And that's what I want to show you very quickly. Let me back out of here. Let me come to the content. Go to this code. Here is your alternative approach. We're still cutting out the HTML, still the same web git, but instead of me doing RSS, I'm doing XML and I'm jumping to entry one. Here's entry one. And then I want to jump to content. So I'm getting this content right here. And again, as you can see, we have some HTML that we're cutting out there and right here. You can see that is getting removed. I'm not using SI module index here. If any of you do know a way to include SI module index right there, please share it in the comments. I haven't tried that much because really there's only one small adjustment. This is entry number one. If I back out of here and I come down to say, let's go to the last entry, this guy right here. In all honesty, the title of this story, the code is no different because I'm incorporating SI module index. But what I am doing when I come to the actual content of that particular topic. If I go into that code, notice I am manually coming here and changing this. So one, two, three, four, five, etc. And again, if you figured out how to use SI module index for that number in entry, please let me know. And I guess one more thing to show you here as well is how are we opening these stories up? So if we go back into that feeds where we have one, two, three, four, five, let me come to the third one, as you can see here, and we can actually tap on anything inside of this group. If I go to touch for that entire group, notice we have open link and I am getting the link through the RSS code. So web get GV, GV go, that's like GV1, GV2, etc. I'm using RSS, SI module index. Again, check out my module index videos on that to understand what I'm talking about there. And then comma, we're getting the link. And since this was my third topic, one, two, three, Check out our link and you can see some keywords here. The verge.com, Apple MagSafe. I definitely see that right there. So that's how we are getting the link for these particular stories. And yeah, there you have it. An alternative to the Google RSS. If you like what you see and you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.